I was a real bad student. I was really bad. And my dad left at a very young age. I was raised by a single mother. So it was just like a lot of questions of like, why? You know, you're not like being able to reach out to your father and like ask him those type of questions, like why'd you leave and stuff like that. It just, I don't know, it just builds up. And just made it just, just, I don't know, I just couldn't control it. And then my, the, my way of like, I guess relieving it was to act out. I met Miss Parnell when I was in elementary school, actually. Like she was a, she wasn't my teacher, but she was next door. When I first met Carson, he was actually in third or fourth grade, running the halls and adults chasing after him. And I just remember Miss Parnell reaching out to me, just like just, just trying to, you know, talk to me to get me to calm down and just be reasonable. In talking to him, he wasn't a bad kid. Why you? Why did you feel like you needed to? to try and make a difference in his life. Why not? All right. Take a look at that picture. <laughs> Take a look at that. And describe to me what that is a picture <laughs> yeah. of. This is his freshman year at West. That was just like, it was just a great feeling to, to, to come see her watch me, to see her watch me play. And walking across making eye contact at midcourt and just hugging him and thinking, he's done it. He's, he's, he's made it. Just to see him be the person I know he could be. I knew then, I know now, he will always succeed. So I would just thank you for always, and she's still with me to this day. Like, this isn't fake. Like, no. she, always, she, she follows me on like every social media. She's always saying, I'm praying <laughs> for you. You better not be getting in trouble, all that. Just, just stay on the right path. So that's huge. I... <laughs> but I'm not done yet. I'm not done. No, you're not.